Hey everyone, it's Tyler and Michelle Strike from Universal Rackets, and today we are going to be teaching you how to hit an overhead and how to hit a put away volley. Now, mm -hmm. there is a difference between the overhead and the put away volley. If you ever have a super high ball in the air and you end up missing it in the net or long, the reason why is because A, you don't have the proper technique, we're going to teach you that, or B, you're trying to take an overhead when it should be a put away, or you're trying to take a put away when it should be an overhead. If you stay tuned for this whole video, we're going to teach you all about it. Make sure you watch the whole thing. Are you ready? If you want to become the person that stops missing the ball into the net, keep watching. Ooh, let's go. Here we are. Let's go. So, what is the difference between an overhead and a put away volley? A put away volley is when you hold the paddle diagonal. An overhead is when you hold the paddle vertical and you fully extend your arm. I want you to think about it this way. Stick your paddle straight up in the air, Michelle. If the ball is higher than the tip of her paddle, she is going to hit an overhead smash. If the ball is lower than the tip of her paddle when she's fully extended, she's going to hit a put away volley. Now that is very different. Players, they try to go for an overhead when the ball is too low or they let the ball get too low. I want you to think, if I'm hitting the ball vertical and I don't hit it at the tip of my paddle when I'm fully extended, so say if I hit it around here, what's going to happen? I'm going to snap my wrist and it's going to go down into the net. Now, when I have a low ball, instead of going with a put away volley, I'm going to tilt my paddle a little bit diagonal and then I'm going to be able to really lift the ball up, get under a little bit and hit the ball more on top of the net than straight down. Now, I want you to think, the lower the ball is on your putaways, the more you want to tilt your paddle down. The higher the ball is, the more you want to angle your paddle up. Once again, if the ball is super high, higher than the top of the tip of my paddle, I'm going to hold it vertical so I can swing down. The lower it gets, look, 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 the more I make my paddle horizontal, even maybe before horizontal, but that's not a put away volley anymore, and that's going to be able to help me clear the net. So you tell me, which one do you want to go over first, the overhead or the put away volley? The overhead. Okay, so the overhead. Number one reason why players go wrong with the overhead is because they don't move the proper way. When players go to hit the overhead, they are moving like this. Now, Tyler, I always want to be facing the kitchen and pickleball, right? I always want to. Every single time I want to be facing kitchen and pickleball, what are, you're not telling me to go like this? No, because if you're going like this, you're going to swing straight down. An overhead is like a throwing motion. The number one thing that players go wrong is when the ball is high, they go like this. Instead of being like this, I want you to, the first thing, as soon as you know that your opponent hits the ball up in there and lobs it to you, it's higher than the tip of your paddle with your arm fully extended, what are you going to do, Michelle? Turn my body. You're going to turn your body. Now, when you turn your body, I want you to add some spice to it, all right? I want some spice. Look at this outfit right now. This outfit is looking fly as can be. We got the whole Halara outfit. We got the Nike shoes. I love how you have so many shoes and I just have these okay one Skechers. My, my other Skechers are on the way. Don't get me wrong. But she got all this awesome uh, pickleball jewelry. Or this isn't pickleball, but it's from that pickleball provider. It's so beautiful. You look amazing. Okay. So since you look so good, we're going to put some pizzazz in our turn. Thing is, is I don't want you to go here. No, I want you to go Boom! I want you to literally think that you're doing a dance. Like, ever play Fortnite? Like, you do the, the dance like this? You're literally doing oh, a dance. Let's ask the subscribers. Isn't there a rule? <laughs> People, yeah, you're not allowed to push off the kitchen. Right I'm not sure. I'm not sure if there's a rule that you have Let's to push on the kitchen. Let's start the comments. Yeah, let us know if there's a rule that there's you There's a rule that you're not allowed to push, push off the off. kitchen and hit it overhead. Ask James Ignatowicz about it. Okay. But I'm not in the PPA, so... I mean, I'm also, in, I want to say something about this back and bad YPA. thing for the overheads. You can, a lot of people get very hurt. Yeah, you could get hurt. Massive you could fall down. Everything back, because you step on. The first called. thing, and that's why I say this dance. And it doesn't matter because nine times out of ten, you're not going to have a referee. I do not think that's a rule. Again, let us know in the comments below. I'm here to give pickleball tips, not the rule book encyclopedia. When people ask me that, I'm like, just Google it. Look in the glossary of the pickleball terms of USA Pickleball or whatever. Don't ask me because whatever but instead of going like this the first thing you have to do is do a dance then you're sideways you're on your surfboard cowabunga notice as well when i do this i'm not just turning my body sideways i'm also 
doing like a flexing motion, right? Showing my muscle. I've been Not working out. Tennis trophy? You feel that? Here we are. Boom. Yeah. Or <laughs> tennis trophy. I've been feeling strong, so that's why I said muscle. But you can also do old school tennis trophy, okay? You want to bring your elbow back. You want to pretend that you're elbowing someone behind you. So you're going to turn your body and you're going to bring your elbow back. You're going to bring your paddle on top of your head. Now, this is a big thing. You want to pretend that you have a birthday hat on the top of your head or I your hat from is picking up. Next. And all you're going to do is when you bring your elbow back, you're going to knock the birthday hat off your head and expose my receding hairline. Okay. So when we do that, right, you're going to turn again, you're going to knock the birthday party hat off your head. You're going to go like this or a salute. Okay. When you do that salute, how do you know when you're in the proper position? You can hit the face of the paddle on the top of your head. This is the second thing where players go wrong. They, they, they don't back paddle, they turn the proper way, they do the dance, but their dance is like this. Their paddle's down. Now when the ball's up in the air, they have to bring their arm all the way up, they have to manhandle this paddle, and then they end up missing because they don't have enough time or anything, okay? You wanna bring it back like that. And that's why you make fun of me for the dance, it, it gets you in that proper position, okay? So everyone get up out of their chair right now, even if you don't have a paddle, and just get up right now, wherever you are, watch this. If you're watching this at work right now, go up in your cubicle, stand on the chair, wherever you are right now, and just go like this and tap your head, okay? So again, we're gonna be here, we're gonna be ready. Person lobs me, here we are, here, I'm just gonna tap my head. Here we are, go like, go like I'm doing dance. You kind of go down a little bit. No, you need to go here, up over your head. You need to knock the birth that. Yeah, good. And how do we do that again? We can think it's a dance, okay? That is the proper position. If you're ever gonna get arm, shoulder, elbow pain, if you wanna get that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your paddle down like this. Now I want my paddle up like a uh, hey, tennis trophy. I'm playing with Gabby tonight, so when I play against her, I going to ask her to lob me. Okay. She loves to lob me. Then you can utilize these tips and you're going to be perfect. I'm ready for time. to go. Now, the next thing that you're going to do, okay, you are going to use your non dominant hand as your guide and as your GPS. So, just to review again, we see it's super high. It's higher than the tip of our paddle, fully extended. That means we're doing an overhead. We turn our body, we do the dance. We're making sure we're knocking the birthday party hat off. We're touching the, the tip of uh, the center of the paddle on our head. Now, what are we doing? Look at my non dominant hand. This hand in front, that's your guide, it is your GPS to the ball. If this is not involved, you're not going to be good at overheads, okay? This determines exactly where you wanna make contact. Now, a lot of pros, pickleball pros, they say that you need to point at it, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, we're gonna take it even a step further. Michelle, the cutest thing that she does in our relationship when we played tennis together before pickleball, well, pickleball was invented apparently. I was her tennis coach, that's how we met. But before pickleball was invented, <laughs> when we played tennis, she would do this like little rock star thing. And she didn't even mean to do it, but she would do her overheads like this. I thought it was the cutest thing ever. <laughs> but instead of doing a rock star thing, instead of pointing, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our whole hand. Now, when we use our whole hand, you're going to pretend that you're an outfielder, not in the Phillies, because Phillies just get to the World Series and lose every single year. Same thing with the Eagles, they're awesome playoffs. Embiid, maybe Sixers, he dropped like 80 points. Embiid dropped 80 points in an NBA game last night. It's pretty yeah. crazy. Yeah, right? Like you're a basketball Remember, fan. Memory saw him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we are. So turn. Here we are. Paddle out. Good. And you're going to pretend that you catch the ball like you're catching an outfield ball. The reason why is wherever she can catch her ball with her arm fully extended, that's exactly where she wants to make contact with her ball. So here we are. Look. Now here we are. Look. Ooh, look at that, right? So wherever you can catch the ball with your hand, that gets you in the proper position to make contact. Now, notice her arm is fully extended, her hand is facing outward. It's not here, I know you can catch it here, I know you can catch it, no, fully extended and out, okay? So a great drill to do when we're teaching people the overhead is number one, I'm gonna make them look funny, I'm gonna make them look good for this Insta uh, YouTube video, right? Ooh, shoulder and we're gonna do our dance, okay? So here we are, we're gonna face forward and what are you gonna do? Here we are, boom, do it two more times, here we are. Good, I like that, but make sure you touch the tip. Yeah, good, one more, one more. Give me a salute or a birthday party hat. Here we are, let's go. Boom, ooh, look at that, good. Now, what are you gonna do? You're gonna do your boom, boom, and now you're gonna catch the ball. Here we are, like this. Pretend that you're elbowing someone, that's gonna help get your paddle like that more. Yeah, there we are, good. Now you're gonna move and then you're gonna catch it. Fully extended, good, do two more, two more. Here we are. So this is a great drill to do. Number one, teach yourself this motion and now once you get in that motion, bring your elbow back so you could get that paddle. You don't like to do that, but that's okay. Here we are, boom. And now you're gonna move and you're gonna catch it. 
Notice, <laughs> she's already in that proper position before she moves, so she can really get that down. Now, catching is huge because wherever you make contact, that's going to be where you hit the ball. Now, here's a big disclaimer. When you are catching this ball, and here's where players go wrong as well, they stop moving. So it's like, I don't know, I feel like kids in the outfield. I feel like I did this when I was a kid. It's like you play baseball, your coach gives you a pop-up in the air, and you're like, I got it, I got it, I got it. And then it goes right next to you. Have you ever seen that? I think a it was kid, like in a how movie. How about when you did that in California? Yeah, I'll put a link in the description. I did that in a video. I was and trying you were to. Never allowed on any softball. For team Self Magazine, <laughs> Self Magazine, I played. I was on like a reality show. The baseball players taught me how to play baseball. I taught the baseball players how to play tennis, and I like lost the challenge because I couldn't catch it. So if you guys want to check that out, we'll uh, we'll uh, give you the link in the description. It's really funny to watch. However, though. What happens though is players, they think, oh, I'm under it, they stop moving, and then they get jammed up or they can't hit it. You have to think everyone, the ball is not coming just straight down. It is coming back to you and down. So you have to continually move until the ball gets to you and you make contact. So a great way is pretend you're at a beach and the sand is super hot. If the sand is super hot, are you just gonna stand like that? Mm -mm. What are you gonna be? Moving. Yeah, you're going to be on those toes, okay? Mm -hmm. So, when you turn, turn, hand out, now hot sand, hot sand, hot sand, locate, 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 and now hit. So, you always want to be moving, okay? Let's go. So, you are going to put it all together while be moving. Make sure you're moving. Make sure you don't just stand there and act like me in the outfield when I was trying to win that baseball challenge in this YouTube video that, again, I'll put a link in the description. Here we are. Let's go. Turn. Boom. Here we are. Catch it, catch it. Move, move, move. Good. Was Here I we are. To Come catch on. It? Two more. Here we are. Pretend that you're going to catch. Am I a great drill that you can do to learn is you can do one catch, one knot. Okay. So here you we are. Hit the ball or not? One catch, one catch. Good. Here we are. Toss back. Make it athletic. Here we are. Let's go. Here we are. One knot, one knot. Get under it. I'm giving you hard ones. Good. Here we are. Let's go. One catch. Good. One knot, one knot. Here we are. Good. Nice. I love it. And you know, I loved better about those. You hit the balls earlier. The first one, I, maybe it was because you were indecisive. Let's go over here. But the first one, you let the ball drop too low. You need to be fully extended up. So what does that mean? You need to hit the ball early. You want to go to the ball. You don't want to let the ball go to you. I want you to even hit the ball earlier than you think that the ball's not even going to touch your paddle. A great way to ensure that you do so and a lot of players net the ball is because when they hit their overheads, they drop their head. When I drop my head, my head waves so much that I then fall through my body. So players, they either drop their hand or they drop their head prematurely and it goes into the net. I want you to notice this whole time, watch what I do. I keep my hand here, I keep my head up, and then I go. I do not bring my hand in until I go up to the ball. And that's another great tip that you can do. You want to hold the paddle loose, but you keep the hand up in there, keep your head up, and then tuck your hand in so then you can come down, okay? You want to always keep your head up in the air you never want to drop your head. Do you have any questions, comments, or concerns? I do. I want you to also explain at the end the contact they're making and snapping that wrist. Because if you don't snap, it's going to the trees. Yeah, so you're holding the paddle super loose. You're bringing the paddle back. Now, when you swing, all you're going to do is you're going to put the center of your paddle forward, and then you are going to snap your wrist. It is called pronation. Now, pronation is all you're doing is going from here to here here to here you're snapping the wrist down a great way to snap the wrist is just like you're doing a basketball shot now my form is horrible you always beat me in horse every single time so maybe it's not even how you do a ba basketball shot but it's how i do a basketball shot you snap the wrist okay it is a, a great thing grip. that pl where players go wrong is they go in a super western grip and go like this you want to be in a continental grip no tilt you're going to bring the paddle back you're going to go it's going to like lead on the edge you're going to snap your wrist and then you're going to come down so all you're going to do is this motion here to here here to here here to here here to here like you're flicking the rest mm -hmm. so a great drill that you can do is you're literally going to get some balls and all you're going to do is you're going to smack the ball down in the air okay so you can pick something that annoys you right now i want you guys to do this to pick the number one thing that annoys you think about it in this ball pretend that it's that thing and boom snap the rest here we are let's go again good one more <laughs> you try it the goal is when you do this i want you to hold your paddle loose have the ball bounce one time in the pickleball court and then touch the gate. Let's go. Woo! What were you thinking about? Hopefully not me. 
No, I love you. Okay. Of course Thanks. it's not you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank You're you. You're so patient with me. <laughs> Oh no. All right. So there we are. There we are. There we are. So that is how you snap the wrist. Now for these drills, some of my favorite because they are a really fun points. Tyler's going to stand in transition. He's going to feed me a lob and then I'm going to have to hit that overhead. He then gets to work on his defense and we play out the points. Yes. So when I lob really fun drill. the ball up in the air, I am going to start with a lob, be in the transition zone, only half court. She's going to smash it down and then anything goes. Here we are. All right, one zero me. Here we are. You hit a little bit too low and keep your head up. If it ever goes into the net, you have to ensure that you hit the ball earlier and your head up. That's it. Ever in the net earlier and head up. Here we are. Good. Play it out. All right. One one. We'll play up to three. All right. Two one me. Are you kidding me, Ty? What do you have to think? I don't know. Earlier and head up. Let's go. Use that hand. Earlier and head up. Oh, that was a hard one. Oh, two two. This is the worst game. I apologize, uh, subscribers, for this horrible performance. Oh, it's windy. Redo. Play it. I can't move. I am so sore. <laughs> I, Go. My legs All are right. so sore. You win. I, am fine. Okay. I can't sit, so, sit down. You win. That's a great game to do. Hopefully, no, do your execution will be better Tyler, do than one good one. us. Okay? We'll do, do one, one good, good one. one. And stop making your lob so high up for me. And Super windy. <laughs> and I want to win. If I, if I give you a low lob, I can't win. Okay, play it out. Anything goes. All right. You technically won that point, babe, because it would have went out if you didn't play. You but I appreciate again? you playing it. I'm not do doing it again. Do it one more time. No. Make one more okay. good point. So now what's going to happen one more good is point, once Tyler. we do that, I'm going to start increasing the difficulty of the feeds. So instead of having her just right up at the kitchen, she's going to be now moving back and going for the ball. Now, this is a huge kit for overhead players. I would rather have you make the ball with less power than miss the ball completely. So if you ever feel like you get pulled out super back behind, your opponent hits such a good lob, either let the ball bounce or take some speed off, okay? Too many players are moving out position, they know they can't hit a good shot, and they go like all for it. No, if I ever have a bad shot, I'm gonna slow down my speed, and I'm just gonna try to get an angle or use less pace. Consistency over power every single time okay, let's do that drill when you're time. out of position. Now, Michelle really wants to do this drill for some reason. I cannot walk. I did a 5:30 workout class, but here we are. Another important thing to talk about is an angle. Not many people, if you didn't come from racket sports, even know what an angle is. So an angle means pulling the ball out wide. <laughs> here we are. Yeah, good. She just wants to win the point. <laughs> And if you're a lobber, what did I do there? And that's an amazing tactic. Lob you took to advantage of my five your opponent's backhand. Nine out of ten players do not have a good backhand. So if you ever play someone with a super good smash, you are going to lob <laughs> to their backhand. Now, I told Michelle just to make this video an overhead drill, but you insisted that we do the put away and the overhead. So I guess we got to make this an hour long and do the put away. I hope you guys are getting value for it. Seriously though, if you utilize these tips, this is going to get you a good overhead. It's as simple as that. If the ball ever goes net, you need to keep your arm up, head up, and hit the ball earlier. It's either if your ball goes long with your overhead, if your ball ever goes long, you need to snap your wrist and come down. If your ball ever goes in a net, you need to go up. Seriously, ball goes long, out of the court, what do you need to do? You need to snap your wrist, maybe exaggerate following through, maybe tuck your arm in so your body can go in. If the ball ever goes in the net, what do you need to do? Keep your arm up, keep your head up, keep the ball earlier and just go back and forth. If you try to make those adjustments actively, you're going to be able to hit the ball in. And again, if you ever get pushed out wide, what are you going to do? You're going to take some speed off the ball and hit an angle. And an angle, what I mean by that is moving the ball off of the court. Another thing I'm talking about too right now, a strategy is if you are facing a lob for these overhead smashes and you can get your paddle on it, you should take that. Don't yeah. just let them bounce and run around them and have to try to reset yeah. them because by that time, your opponents were just on defense, and if you let it bounce, they're now instantly on offense. And guys, there's so many balls that you think that you can't get that you actually can get. Just yeah. go for it. What's the worst thing that can happen? You lose the point. If you have to let it bounce at the baseline because you're literally at the kitchen, you have to let it bounce. But other than that, if you can get your paddle on, even if it's not a good shot, I've done it many times where I just tap it back over the net because I don't want them to get 
massively on offense against me. Here's the thing, everyone. Unless you're playing with this famous push-off rule, which means you're playing such a high level for some type of money probably, you should be going for all your overheads because it doesn't matter if you miss. You're going to get better if you push yourself, you try to go for more than trying to lay off and play it safe. And by playing it safe, you're going to probably lose more points because you're just going to pop the ball up to them if you don't pull the trigger. And if a lob is given to us when we're playing together, if I'm playing with my women's partner who plays the left side, it's always my left side's overhead put away because it's their forehand. All right, so now what we're going to do is we are going to work on putaways. Now, why again in putaways do you want to check if the camera's still rolling? That would be amazing. So putaways again is when the ball is not super high that your paddle's extended, it's a little bit lower. Now when I hit these putaways, I want to instead of turning my body, I'm going to keep my body forward. Now for these putaways, what I'm going to do is again, instead of holding my paddle straight, I am going to angle the paddle. Now as I mentioned before, the lower the ball, the less I want to angle the paddle, the more I want to go to horizontal until I get to that like, let's see, nine o'clock. Now, when I get below nine o'clock, eight, seven, six, I want to then drop the paddle. But right now for putaways, any putaway for a beginner intermediate club level will be between here and here. Again, it's not when you're fully extended, so you're going to hit the, hold the paddle super diagonal and then go down, okay? Now, here's a big thing. Instead of just thinking about your paddle going this way when you hit your putaways, also, you're going to think the higher it is, the more you want to snap your wrist, the lower it is, the more you want to come up on the ball. And roll it. And roll the ball. So think again, if the ball's higher, you want to snap down. If it then gets lower beyond, let's say, 45 degrees, like here's zero, here's 90, 45 degrees, then you want to start getting under the ball. Now the whole thing with the put away is utilizing your wrist. It is not your arm, it's not your elbow, it is none of that. It is keeping your body down, keeping your body forward, and just letting that paddle go. So I'm gonna give Michelle some high put aways and I want you to see where her paddle is. Try to hit these balls to me because we are running out of balls. Here we are. Try again. Here we are. Good. Now, a big thing with the put away is you need to make contact down front. You're letting the ball get too close to you. Tired. You're tired? Yeah. Come on, you can't be tired. You wanted to do overheads and put aways. We had to do it together. I was like, Michelle, it's gonna be too long, but that's okay. Now, the thing with you is you're tired, maybe you're letting the ball get too close to you, but also you're starting with the paddle super close to you. If you start with the paddle super close to you, you're going to make contact super close to you. If you start with the paddle away from you, you're going to make contact away from your body. So I want you to start with your paddle out in front. I want you to get the ball earlier and go. Now a big thing is, is you don't want to take the paddle back because then you're going to get jammed. You want to keep the paddle here, turn, and then utilize your wrist. Okay. That's why I said from the start, it's not your arm and your swing, it is literally just your wrist. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Here we are. So you're going to be working on your putaways, keeping your body grounded, taking a little bit of backswing, and getting your paddle out in front. Too good. Here we are. We've been using this like temporary net, the small net, and the balls bounce back from the net. It's just so awesome. Pickle pal. Pickle pal. Here we are. Let's go. Link in the description. Good. Nice. Two more. Try to take it early. Try to take it early. One more. One more. Good, okay, so those were a little bit higher. I'm going to give you a little bit lower putaways, and I'm going to have you swing. Here we are. Good, two more, drop the paddle. Good, one more. Oh, that was a little bit high. Okay, so as you can see, another big thing is you wanna hold the paddle loose. The faster the ball is at you, the tighter you wanna hold your paddle. But for these putaways, when the ball is just sitting there, you wanna grip the paddle super loose so you can let that paddle really do the work. Now what we can do is we can do the exact same drill that we did with the overhead. I'm gonna feed the ball in and we're going to play the points out, okay? okay? We're gonna play up the three real quick, then we will wrap it up. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Is there any other tips that you wanna give the subscribers for putaways, Michelle? No, but as you can see, when I was going like this and getting super aggressive, that wasn't helping me. You just wanna stay in your ready position and literally just take the paddle. Don't bring it back in and go around, that's wasting time. Out in front, turn the paddle, hit the ball. Keep your body forward and your body yeah. down. That's another big thing. A lot of players, they don't just use their arm, but they get out of their center of gravity. I want to keep 
body down, pretend that there's a water on my head, pretend there's a ceiling above my head, and let the paddle do the work. Let the paddle work for me, don't work for the paddle. Here we are, and we're gonna play a game. I'm gonna be in the transition zone. Anything goes, I can move up if I want, but I'm so sore, I can't. I'll just lob her and try to get away with it. All right, one zero me. Here we are. I gave her a bad feed, that's okay, one one. Here we are. Ooh, aha, two one you, here we are. Oh, three one you. Congratulations, Michelle. That was such a good playing right there, okay? So, if you guys can utilize these putaways, do the overheads properly, you're gonna be playing so much better, so much more aggressive in pickleball. Again, overheads, if the ball's higher than the tip of your paddle you're gonna go for, then the lower the putaway ball is, the more you're going to make your paddle horizontal. You're gonna hold the paddle loose, you're gonna get the paddle in front, and you're gonna not take a big backswing, and you're gonna keep your body facing forward like the overheads you are turning sideways. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let us know in the comments below. If you want any programs near you, make sure you click the link in the description, fill out the Universal Rackets form, and a Universal Rackets representative will get to you. Make sure to check the link in the description for awesome paddles. If you get it paddles, you'll get a gift card with your purchase. You could get an awesome hat, get some pickleballs, get some cool stuff. If you don't wanna watch a video of me absolutely getting annihilated with pop-up balls for Self Magazine, you could check that out as well. I put the link in the description. Make sure to follow us on Instagram. Make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube. Have a good one. We're gonna go take a nap and happy hitting.